Matthew Holt with a quick bite vibe. This is Julia Hugh. Julia is the CEO of Lark. And Julia, just in case people don't know, what does Lark do? Uh, Lark is an AI platform to help anyone struggling with a chronic condition at high risk of a chronic condition and mental health issue to live a happier and healthier life. And we do that with conversational AI and remote patient monitoring, so it's super scalable and virtual and in the palm of your hand. Okay, very clever. So I've actually used Lark a little bit, <laughs> and as you know, uh, in, in do my uh, partner in health I was used it a little bit, and you guys actually started that after way back 2012, 2013, a, a while ago, but yeah. you've hit the big time. <laughs> um, so, conversational AI, chatbot type things. First question is, is that enough? A lot of people say, well, that's good, but we need to escalate to a human being because there are some issues and some questions or people don't use it or whatever. So what has been the experience? You guys have actually done some clinical research on, on what the experience has been. So what does that say? So, you know, it's difficult to say that AI will cover everything and AI nurses will replace nurses. That's not what we're saying. There's just not enough doctors and nurses in the world. So what do you do? You have to extend uh, extend their care, their personalized touch. So for us, it's having treated close to 2 million patients um, who are struggling with these conditions and they, they need day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week care to stress less, to manage their diabetes, to lose weight. Um, and so for us, it's really about first line of defense. We can take care of the day-to-day -day, and then we escalate to the health plan or partners, nurses, doctors, telehealth providers, to really get the care that they need at the right moment and allow those um, clinical workforce to perform at the top of their license. So, so how often does, does someone get escalated if they're like humming along on your diabetes, your diet program, your mental health, they're getting a response to the chatbot and it's not going well? At what point does that happen and how, how often does that happen? It's actually not very often because uh, our clinical studies have shown clinical equivalence to live nurse um, call center driven population health companies. So uh, we've seen 1.1 um, uh, point A1C reduction, we've seen close to 10 points systolic and hypertension, so it's equivalent to live nurses and coaches. And so the areas that we escalate, so we escalate much less, so you know, Point, you know, zero percent, a point zero five percent, you know, something in the very small populations where it's really about um, a clinical triage moment. Um, yeah. So um, those results sound sound pretty good. How do you? I mean, how, how how do you sort of determine them? Is there a selection bias from people who only care about using these tools? How who are the people who are adopting them? How many people adopt them within the populations itself? Give me a sense about what that uptake, that input. Pieces. Yeah. So our goal is really to try and get care to the people who really need it. And, you know, in a sense, if we can get it at low enough cost, at big enough scale, we can really start to democratize the care. Um, and so for me, that's super important. Um, and we've seen great, great outcomes. So we just published a paper that showed, you know, a lot of people think that this is an urban, millennial, rich person product. But actually, um, uh, LARC is showing much more outcomes with the Medicare Advantage population. So the older population is actually more engaged and has better outcomes. That was published and it was like a, you know, a moment of like, oh, tech actually works for the older right. population. Uh, we also had a um, healthcare provider and professional shortage area paper that came out that showed that LARC was showing great outcomes, close to 10 pounds of weight loss, which is close to 60% uh, reduction of diabetes onset. And that paper was close to 20,000 patients. And it showed, if not for LARC, only 5% of this healthcare provider per, you know, professional shortage area of patients would have gotten actual care in person if not for LARC. So only 5% would have gotten care. And to me, that's, that's just unacceptable. Um, and so, you know, for us, it's really about giving care to people who really need it. Fantastic. Okay, last thing on the, the company itself. Um, you raised a whole bunch of money last year. I can't remember how much. 100, and 100, 100 million. 100 million yeah. last year. So you, you've now got some real capital. Uh, how are you distributing this? Who are the clients? 
How are you, uh, you getting So we mainly work with large national and regional health plans. You can say a name um, or two here. All right, all right. So uh, we power Anthem's digital coaching programs nationally. Uh, we work with um, a regional blues, and we also work with um, different uh, areas. So we, we have about a thousand employers. Um, we're expanding into pharma. Um, and uh, worked with pay providers, so we're expanding into these different channels. Excellent. How many people in the company now? Um, so we're mainly tech, so we're about 75% tech AI uh, engineers, uh, close to 200 now. All right, exciting. Well, fantastic. Uh, last question. Where does this end up in the world of overall care? Because you're seeing all this stuff integrate together. Where do you think Lock ends up? Do you think as a standalone tech company, do you end up becoming an actual provider organization yourself? Do you end up being part of the health plan? How do you end up, you think? I, I don't think that we can stand on an island and solve healthcare. I think we need to really work on partnerships. So to me, uh, Lark is the front end um, scalable care for preventative, for chronic, for behavioral health. First line of defense to virtual primary care, to telehealth, to um, brick and mortar healthcare. So I, I hope that by doing that, we can extend care to anyone in need. Fantastic. Well, it's been exciting seeing you do this over the last several years. Congrats, <laughs> congrats on your progress, Julia. Thank that was Julia Hughes, CEO so of Block. 